I painted myself a backdrop this week. There was a period a few years ago where I was obsessed with using uh, backdrops, paper backdrop rolls uh, in my personal work. Using some type of backdrop in your photography really, I feel like, takes it to the next level in some ways because you have to create everything in front of the lens. You're not using like a wall, you're not using something outside. You have to create everything. And so in one way, it's, it's really hard and you have to make all of the decisions. And in another way, it's really exciting because you get to, you get to fully control everything that's in front of the lens. Recently, I've kind of been interested in using backdrops again, and especially for portraits. One thing that I've been a bit frustrated with sometimes is the inconsistency, especially as we're shooting a wedding, the inconsistency of, of having backgrounds. And there's a certain portrait that I have in my mind that I want to shoot over and over again, but if I don't have the right lighting in the right spot so I can have the right background, then I'm just unable to take that photo. So what I did this week is try my own hand at creating and painting my own canvas backdrop. I looked online to see if there was some that we could purchase, but I didn't really find any that I liked. A lot of the paint strokes were kind of intense or there was very kind of like weird patterns and they, <laughs> they kind of took me back to like high school photo day or like elementary photo day and that is definitely not what I'm looking for. I really want this kind of elegant, Parisian feel and there was nothing that I really found out there that I that really spoke to me and is was exactly what I was looking for. So I went to an art shop that is just down the street from where we live. They had this six foot wide canvas um, by like however long you want it. And so we got 16 feet of this canvas and we brought it home. I laid it out on the ground. I primed it twice with just kind of a, a normal primer uh, that you just use on your walls. I just went to a paint shop and asked for a basic primer. One thing to note, uh, if you do try this yourself, is to make sure that the ground is really flat and that you put something underneath the canvas. So the first few strokes that I did, I just put it on our wood floors. And uh, the first few strokes of primer I did, I like look underneath, I looked underneath and I realized that the, the paint had seeped through onto the ground. So make sure that you have something underneath your canvas. And then I ordered this lime wash paint from Germany. Uh, I had very high expectations of this stuff and I thought it was going to be incredible uh, because if you see lime wash paint on walls, um, it looks incredible and it really gives that like old world Parisian feel. So I took the lime wash and this kind of specific paint brush that they, they suggest using with it and you kind of paint in these clouds. So you start in one section, you paint a big cloud and you go to another section and paint a cloud and make sure it's soft and feathered around the edges. And then what you do is you just keep going and blend all those clouds together until the whole canvas is painted. It turned out to be easier than I thought it would be. Um, it's just pretty much like painting a canvas, uh, but I definitely see the difficulty of getting a real rich and deep background. Uh, takes some practice and some skill. So I'm still like happy with the results, kind of, um, but it, it turned out a lot more subtle on canvas and you couldn't really see some of the dimension that I wanted. So this canvas isn't completely finished. I think I'm going to do a few more layers of some white and some more lime wash on top and then more white and then some more lime wash on top so you can see a little bit more like kind of clouds of color, a little bit more dimension, but I'm still really happy with the color. Uh, and I'm happy with the overall like subtle texture, at least for this first one. So I'm really excited about the type of portraits that I'm going to be able to take this year um, on film, on these canvas backdrops, and I can't wait to share with you the results.